Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Sorry, just had to go blow my nose. Hope everybody's doing well today. Happy Sunday. Things are beautiful outside. A little on the chilly side. A little cooler than it has been. But uh, oh, it's very nice out. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming out this morning. Um, if you don't know where you're at, uh, this is uh, TweetFV. My name's Dan, and uh, we'll be talking about some uh, drone stuff and everything in between. Well, drone stuff and life and everything. Everything there is to talk about. Really no limits here. Just be nice. Hope everybody's doing well uh, today. We're doing a giveaway. If you don't know about the giveaway, ask these guys. They'll tell you where it's at and how to do it. Fighting, fighting with odd D-I-I-O. Um, I tried joining their service last week for um, copyright free music. Their website sucks, their content sucks, and the way that you uh, procure music sucks even more. And uh, you don't know that till you sign up. Um, been fighting with those guys to get my get my hard earned dollar dues back. Hope you guys like the intro. Uh, a little bit different, kind of a little look at what uh, what goes on uh, on my day job. Uh, that was from yesterday. Had a had the opportunity to uh, fly the uh, Easter Bunny in to a bunch of bunch of excited little kiddos for an Easter egg hunt. It's super busy this week. Uh, have been flying, which has been awesome. I, I actually got a chance to fly quite a bit this week. Uh, finished up the uh, the sub 250 DJI 03 build on the AOS uh, three and a half or 3.5 uh, 03. Very, very, very much like the squad. Um, pretty happy with it. There's a few things I would like to change in it, but we'll we'll take a deeper look at that that little guy here. Um, there's a dog at my door scratching at it. Uh, she wants in. Be right back. Sorry about that, guys. The dogs don't do what I want them to do at the time I want them to do it. So we just have to deal with <laughs> We have to deal with it the way it is. Um, so today we're going to be doing the giveaway uh, for the monthly Patreon giveaway. Uh, probably about uh, 11.45-ish, 11.50, somewhere around there. Uh, it's 11 o'clock where I'm at, uh, just so you guys can calibrate your time zones. Uh, and one lucky winner will be either getting a pre-built uh 533 Tiny Trainer. Uh, this one's on Tracer, unfortunately, and I'm sure none of you guys use Tracer. Uh, and then the, the other one is the um, the Pavo 25, I think it is. Uh, this one's running a DJI um, Vista with a Polar Nano. Uh, and I believe this one also is on yes. I think, I don't remember. I literally flew this thing like maybe a dozen times. Uh, it's great, great if you pair it with a uh, naked GoPro. That intro video was shot on the one and only Insta360 uh, X3. Not a sponsor, but if you want to buy one, I do have an affiliate link down in the video description. These cameras are friggin' awesome. Literally just held it in my lap and then took care of the rest of the post. Um, I, have, I normally have a uh, Anvis mount put it here but uh, I forgot that because I are stupid let's just jog through the chat here everybody seems to be coming in here free lojo good morning Brandon baked beans first one in the chat glad to see you here my friend bitterroot yo what's up uh, cruiser 57 8th X good morning my friend wrong way FPV glad to see you here splinter William Tam Robbie store Thank you so much for coming out. Gamma Gonad, glad to see you here. Still love that username. That's that's probably still number one on my list. Uh, y Drone, H Speed, good morning. Uh, I got your email um, and uh, uh, Monday. Get out Monday. Um, 
Zelle doesn't give me notifications for some weird reason because uh, it's built into my banking service. So I don't know. I shut those guys up. TK, good morning. Brandon Bake means what in the name of all that is holy? Yeah. Uh, it was a fun day. Hot. It was hot out, man. Uh, Borked, good morning. Uh, how's it be finally getting a short bake from basement uh, remodeling to finally watch a stream? Uh, yeah, man, I hear you. I've been installing hardwood floor in my master bedroom for the last, uh, I guess that's going on two weeks now. Kind of took a little bit of time off. Um, just filled all the nail holes yesterday, and I think Tuesday I'm going to start sanding. Uh, it's going to be a miserable job. North 49 RC, good to see you here. William Tam, I think I already said that. Mike Bergman, TK, John K, blah, 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 blah. There's a bunch of people in here. Awesome, man. Thank you all for coming out today. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, Borked, uh, I gotta go fly outside again. Whoops, still suck in the wind. Yes, whoops, still and always will suck in the wind. Uh, I don't know why there is this this misconception in this hobby that there is a drone that can do everything. It doesn't exist. They can, there is a job for each drone. They can do all of them, all the different jobs, just they kind of suck at it. Um, outdoors, I don't know, man. Like I've tried the 75 millimeter whoops, the 65s, the 85s are, uh, they're close, but man, nothing beats just an open prop ripper to fly outside but then again you don't want to fly that inside otherwise you'll end up with uh, scuff marks on the ceiling then again I also flew an X-Class in the house so well hovered but it's still flying right I don't know oh man oh, let's see uh, finished up your 0350 Cool, man. Uh, uh, hopefully that comes together all right. Uh, House of Feast said, uh, shout out parts list for that sub 250 03 build. I definitely will. We'll get uh, we'll get to that. Uh, oh, man. Where are we at here? Shit's jumping around. Fast nail goggles are nice. Uh, yeah, I saw your I saw your post. Sorry, I didn't uh, reply to it. Uh, I'm glad you're liking them. I, oh, man. I just... I wish I liked the O3. I wish I liked the walk snail system better than I did. I'm not saying it's a bad, uh, a bad system by any means. It's a great system, but when there's the, oh, I already have the DJI goggles too, uh, and I've got HD Zero. That's kind of like the middle ground between the two, and I just don't want my my variety of things that I fly spread that thin. Like I've already got analog, HD Zero. DJI. Uh, I mean, at least finally, all my RC protocols are unified down to Express RS. I'm super happy about that. I just, you know, I start, first got in the hobby, it was FR Sky and Analog, and that's it. I mean, there were some people running uh, Fly Sky, but those people were just basically poor and just getting into the hobby. That's where I was at one point. And things were cool for a while because everything was 4S. Unless you're flying whoops, and it was obviously 1S. It was 4S, FR Sky, and Analog. And that was it. It was simple. You just buy shit, build it, fly. Now there is so much variety, and, and the, fr the hobby is so fractured at this point that I don't know, you're flying 4S, 6S, Analog, Digital. Which kind of digital? Uh, what, what's your RC protocol? 024, what, what are you doing? You old FR Sky, Express LRS, Tracer, uh, Ghost, what you doing? This hobby is, has just exploded uh, in the last couple of years with just varieties. But, uh, you know, that's uh, that's not too bad. I guess. Uh, where are we at here in the chat? Um, I don't know where I was going with that one. Uh, 8 bit says he uses Tracer. Well, alright, man. Good for you. Uh, William Tam, DJI Goggles Integra. Uh, I've seen a bunch of footage about him. They look great. Like if uh, if you're on the DJI goggles V1 or the DJI goggles V2, uh, and you're considering going to the the newer system, uh, I would pick up the Integra. I have the original. I have the original um, 
V2 goggles. I absolutely love these things. They fit like absolute, absolute dog. Um, just like the, just like the, the original DJI goggles did. Um, but they're light, they're small, they're packable. The touch panel on the side is kind of annoying. I like the fact that they went to a five way joystick. <coughs> I am sorry guys. I don't know what's going on. It's my allergies for real. Oh, I was cleaning before the live stream. I don't know if I got some dust. It's bothering me or what. Um, I love the focus adjustment. I like that they lock the IPD and the focus adjustment are, and they, they lock these things are little knobs. You unscrew them, they pop out, you adjust your focus, you adjust your IPD, and then you screw them in and they lock. So they, they don't move around on you, which is awesome. Um, the wireless streaming don't, I tried using it the other day. I don't know how to make DLNA work. I, it's dumb. It's something worth losing. The integrated battery, I don't like it. I'll be honest because I want to be able to run my own uh, battery strap or uh, goggle strap like like the old uh, ethics strap here and I like having the battery in my head instead of my pocket. But for the price, damn, that's, uh, that's hard to beat. I would probably jump on that. I've got two chat windows in front of me. I don't know which one. I'm going to close this one because I'm getting mixed up between the two of them. All right, where are we at here? Uh, so the Integra seems like a very good uh, option for uh, people in the hobby. It's the what you lose at the reduced price, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Ah, the antennas aren't removable, but ah, who really cares? Rick, good morning. Uh, glad to see you here, man. Uh, dude, I I am absolutely blown away by what's going on in your world. As that is nuts. Uh, Paul McDowell, headed to, the park, headed to the park. All right, man. Have a good one. Don't break too much shit. Uh, let's see where we at. Fast Snail Goggles. Nice. All right, we already got that one. Uh, killer Mug. Oh, yeah, you like this. Uh, when you work at a uh, John Deere dealer, for some reason, everybody thinks you want all the John Deere in the world. <laughs> and I've got I've got so much stuff, but I mean, I'm always going to have these. Uh, Mike Berger says, I bet remote idea will make whoops fly awesome in the wind. <laughs> yeah, unless you've got a 107, then, then that ain't going to help you at all. My five inch identifies as a whoop. Hell yeah, buddy. Uh, Brandon McBean says, uh, can't someone just make me a drone I can fly inside and also fly kilometers away with? I mean, I, I can. You got to be really good if you want to fly it inside. Uh, TK, thank you so much, man. FEV Trucker, good morning. How are you doing? Chun Loco, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Athex, by government standards, hovering and flying is the same. Yes, you are You are absolutely right, by FAA standards. Uh, Brandon says, I'm impressed you made the uh, three and a half, oh, uh, made that quad sub 250. Yeah, it, um, on 6S, it, I have a lot of headroom. On 4S, not so much. And I don't know if there's a shortage of forest batteries going around, but I couldn't find anything uh, in like the 650 milliamp range uh, without like shopping in Canada. Mike Bergman says, have you had any problems with the O3 being hard mounted to the carbon? Yes, I have, I think. Um, I'll, uh, I'll show you some, some footage. Uh, Brandon, on the 380 uh, 6S packs, that's, uh, that's these guys here. Um, uh, I get about two and a half minutes. Uh, and that's all. That's hammering it pretty hard, too. At a 66% uh, throttle uh, motor output scale. Uh, on 4S, I can get uh, four, uh, five, what was it, five and a half minutes, something like that. But that was also kind of just cruising around. Oh, let's see. There we go. Pop that in the chat there. Did that drop? No, it didn't. Let's try it again. Boom. There we go. Where are we at here? And I tell you, the, this, this chat window jumping around is the absolute worst 
uh, run a drum sander to use install flooring. Uh, I was going to consider renting a drum sander. Uh, I think I'm going to just do the vibratory. I know it's going to take longer, but um, I think my wife is going to do a lot of it since I got to work that day. And uh, like, I have some experience doing hardwood floor sanding with a drum sander, and I think I could get by with it. But um, uh, the, the, the chances of really fucking up the floor the floor very quickly the drum sander is very uh, very quick a few trucker says uh, working on my HDZ uh, quad mola siren f5 cool man house FUVs, uh has a request for everybody uh, he says to smash that like button you don't have to smash it you just gotta click it and that'll work too but uh, you know whatever works for you if you got a touch screen go ahead and smash it no, don't don't do that. <laughs> Cruiser fifty seven. Where's the sign up for the giveaway? I'm not telling you. You'll you'll have to figure it out. These guys know where it's at. Uh, I have checked Rocksteady and Gyroflow, and they both suck ass. Um, in 2015, I was that poor flat sky guy. Yeah, so was I. Uh, so was I. And then FR Sky, uh, I bought the pizza box, the QX7, and I was on FR Sky for a very long time. Uh, Mark Nochot says, Goggles V2 are showing as discontinued on some sites. Okay, that, that doesn't surprise me. I'm sure they're making more money by getting rid of the features that are included uh, in the Goggles V2 um, and adding that battery pack and the, uh, the GPS unit in it. Uh, the Vera for me the free lojo the bitch uh, i don't know what you're trying to say there's the the a variety the variety has been an issue for me oh i think i know what you're talking about yeah sorry goggles two not v2 goggles two god the, the naming scheme sucks time to add an ad no go away uh let's see i don't want a dj about without dj because of uh, reasons, yeah, I, I get it. Athex, yeah. Um, if I if I didn't like D, I don't like DJI. Well, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that out there. I don't like DJI as a company, but damn, they make some good shit. Oh man, it's tough. Bergman says I rock a head battery too. Yeah, I I bought uh, a long time ago. I bought a battery cable to go in the pocket. I f went to the races once with it. And I'm like, oh, I don't like this. I like just be able to take my shit off and not be attached with cords and then have a cord rubbing against my arm. I don't know. If only that HDMI in, well, they have the, the DLNA in or the DLNA ability, but man, it is, I don't understand how it works. Uh, I have feelings about John Deere. Yeah. John Deere has turned into a really, really shit company lately. Uh, back when I worked for Deere back, um, I think I worked for them from 2002 till 2000 and no, 2001 till 2008. Uh, they were a pretty damn good company. At least the um, the deer deer wasn't bad, but the the dealership I worked for was awesome. The guy owned like nine deer dealerships, and he would literally drive to every dealership uh, and hand you your paycheck in person and talk to you. It was. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, dude's name was Gus. Uh, probably one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Um, just probably one of the, the best employers I've ever had. Uh, let's see. Only concern with uh, goggles and Tegra is that I'm wondering about the smaller FOV. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit smaller. I don't think it would be that much to... Uh, for the price, I think it's probably worth the, the cut in FOV. Uh, it's nice that they do include a set of diopters for you uh, because they got rid of the the diopter adjustment on the goggles. So it's that that's pretty thoughtful. Uh, Bobby Bags O three two fifty sounds like a great ripper. Also liking the O three Flywheel Explorer. No need for an HD cam uh, and under two fifty with a bigger battery. Yeah. Uh, are you flying on three eighty mil? Yes, that's what I'm using. More no shot. By five S always in stock. No one uses them. Yeah, there's a reason why no one uses them. It's such a weird like middle ground. 
Um, Mike Berwin says, uh, I was just noticing about the goggles too. I have a huge field of view. I've scaled down 9%, uh, possibly more. Yeah, my uh, DJI goggles V2, the old ones, I scaled those down to like 50% because I just, I didn't like looking around the screens. Um, Are the new goggles uh, compatible with the Vista? Yeah, the new goggles are compatible with every DJI uh, FPV product. Yep, fly drones is is smaller. Sorry, trying to catch up on the the chat. If I skip you, if you have a question, make sure you tag me in it. I'm um, just trying to catch up. That's cool. I have employers like that. Yeah, International Harvester. I said purple. Apparently, it doesn't work. Uh, Ryan says, hey, there's no gimbal tension holes on the back of the radio on a jumper T-Lite V2. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember if it does or does not. Uh, I, you're obviously they obviously don't because you're saying they don't. Um, I think you probably have to open that radio up. Yeah, you got to open that radio up to get to the gimbal adjustment. Um, there we go. So there's what you're looking at. Open up the back of the radio. Really? Come on, man. So your gimbal adjustment is going to be, I think, this one her and this one her on each side. Um, obviously, you got your tension bar for your throttle and then your lefty-righty uh, adjustment. So, yeah, you're going to have to pop the back up to make adjustments to uh, your gimbals on that radio. I'm glad the lights are working for everybody. Uh, yep, you can. You can uh, dump that command in whatever. Uh, fly drone, fly zone, ah, geez, fly zone drone. Uh, damn, this color change do is dope. Hey, man, thank you. This takes a ton of fucking work. Uh, and sometimes some of the lights don't work like these guys. They're just, I don't know. They're just not behaving. Uh, for some reason, some, none of the fan lights are changing. I don't know why. Let's see if I can manually change them. Uh, squirrel. Let's see. Uh, control center. You kind of see what I, what I have to interact with here. Uh, it is, <laughs> this is how many smart bulbs I have in the basement. It is kind of a pain in the butt. Full control. Let's see if I can make it red. Everybody changes. You guys gonna change? Yeah, yeah, they're all changing now. Uh, let's close that and we'll go back to. Uh, so it does seem to be working sometimes. Uh, let's see, how does the color change when we ask for a different color? I think it gives a 60 second uh, cool down period between requests from anybody. So if like three people put in, it'll stay at a color for, uh, you know, 60 seconds. Um, and then there are also, is that not the right, uh, the right command there? What's going on? Light list, no. Where's that? Oh, I think it's in the description. Yeah, they used to have a command where I could just put in the command symbol and then light list and it would uh, it would paste it in the chat. Uh, for some reason they took that away. But uh, like this guy here, we've got... Let's see, did that work for you, Lojo?
do like that. It tends to trigger people. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's go take a look at this uh, this O3 um, thingamahooser I got here. All right. Camera's being a bastard right now. Is it gonna work? Come on. I know you want to. Come on. Forgot to option check all my cameras this morning. Really? Damn it. All right. I know you guys can still hear me. Hang on one second. I don't know what's going on with... Oh, that's Skycam. Why did I do that one? Something changed. I think my Steam, my Stream Deck updated and I lost uh, a bunch of the commands. Got messed up. So, here we go. Here is the, uh, the O3 DJI thingy. And we're looking at 172 grams... 171 grams uh, dry, and with the 380, looking at 235, 235, uh, plenty of headroom, and then with the 650, unfortunately I'm at 253, I'm pretty sure I can lose three grams on this thing if I tried. Uh, this back TPU print, she's pretty, she's pretty bulky, but uh, 235 is where I'm at with this guy. Um, I could go with a smaller 4S or a bigger 6S, but just for comparison's sakes, like here is my HD Zero uh, Rip Squeak, very comparable quad. This one is 440 versus 471, so it's definitely a little bit meatier. But uh, let's get inside this thing, and show you guys around, see what, show you what I did. And uh, this isn't really with trying to uh, go light. This is just building it um, consciously. Conscientiously? I don't know. Words. Words are not my thing. Sorry, guys. I can't see the chat from where I'm at. I'm missing my third monitor. So I've had to rearrange some stuff on the screen. I can't see everything. This ring light smells hot. It's been acting weird lately. I got like 30 minutes of use out of it and then it starts flashing. It keeps turning on and off. It's really weird. Uh, I consider doing titanium screws, but I don't know, at two millimeter, I don't know how much that's gonna save me. I mean, obviously it will save. I could definitely lose the three grams by going to titanium. So here's what we got here. So this, uh, the AIO, this is the uh, iFlight RC uh, Beast F7. Uh, I have turned it, uh, I, this kind of sucked because I had to do a custom uh, custom rotation in Betaflight because it's not only it's not just uh, 90, 180, you know, it's not 90 or 180 or 270 off. It's in between, you know, add another 45 degrees because this is normally supposed to be in a diamond orientation flying. Um, what the hell is it right? Oh, yeah. So it's that's the flight orientation on this thing. So uh, Betaflight does have nice presets, but they don't take into account for using a uh, AIO in a standard um, kind of square layout. Uh, running the DJI 03 uh, plug header uh, right into here. Got the cap for it, Express LRS, the air unit, and then obviously, um, let's see if I fix this exposure a little bit. Obviously, the 03 camera here. Um, the motors, these are the uh, the Toka 1404 4000 KV motors. Yes, I am running this on 6S, but I'm running a motor scale. 
uh, mostly because I couldn't find the right KV for that. Uh, this print here, found it off Thingiverse. It's pretty bulky and fat. I, this is the first time I've used a, a captive um, power lead connector. I don't know if I like it. It's very hard to plug in and unplug. Uh, but try and use minimal amount of wire. I don't like where I have my antenna mounted. This is one of the things I want to change because I know this is gonna break and get chopped up. Uh, I'm running the Beta FPV antennas on a Happy Model EP2. But uh, yeah, air unit in the front. I have it spaced off with rubber O-rings. If you can see them right down inside of there. Focus on the wrong thing. Sorry, I'm a gross ass finger. Um, So yeah, it's a it's a pretty pretty tight little build, uh, but it's not that hard to build. I think I think probably building the um, like the like this guy uh, this was much much more difficult to build than this. But that's what's in there. Using the original antenna, uh, I had to cut the antenna tube uh, down to size because it was a, maybe another inch longer than this and was kind of hitting the bottom plate. And I wanted to run the wires up. These aren't able to touch the FC, so I don't have to worry about them bouncing against it. Um, I might get a little bit of lacing and tie these together so they kind of uh, retain each other. Uh, but yeah, cutting the tube down allows me to get the antenna closer to the board and the, uh, the antenna cables kind of where I want them. Um, I could get rid of a lot of the zip ties and replace them with uh, Teflon lacing tape to save uh, quite a bit of weight. Uh, zip ties are fairly heavy. Uh, a nice small piece of Uma grip. I could probably chop this down to save a little bit of weight. And unfortunately, this is a pretty heavy uh, LiPo strap, uh, all things considered, just because it's got a metal buckle on it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's go to the chat. I'll roll back here. Um... <laughs> More than camera on. Yeah, thanks, man. Needed that. Uh, they were on, but for some reason, my, my capture card wasn't wasn't picking them up. I don't know why. Has anyone tried the 533 3.5-inch props yet? No, I have not. Um, uh, Marcel FX FPV says, Using stream elements with OBS is key for streaming. Uh... And a lot of options, commands you can make. Uh, I use uh, Streamlabs for a while. Um, they got, I mean, this is a couple years ago I was using them. Uh, they just, they, it seemed like they worked really good with, yeah, see, uh, my, my, uh, my key lights flashing, or my ring lights flashing right now, and I don't know why. I'm actually just going to turn it off because it's really annoying. Uh, yeah. Uh, Game of says he's working on an AOS uh, 3.5 right now. Actually, rocking the uh, X Nova 1804. Ooh, man. Two millimeter titanium screws are a biatch to find. There is a website that I use. Uh, all the time. It's called Fasteners Express. Uh, these are the guys I find all my funky hardware for. Uh, let's see. Do they have titanium? So they got aluminum. Where's titanium? Pretty sure I found them for these guys. Their search function seems to suck. <clears throat> I thought this is where I found my titanium screws. Maybe not. But uh, FasternerExpress.com, uh, that is where I go for all my aluminum uh, screws. I'll, uh, I'll drop that in the chat here if anybody's interested. Not affiliated with them or anything like that, but yeah. Too many titanium. Uh, Game of Gone says he put a 20 by 20 in his AOS 3.5. I consider it a 20 by 20, except for I would definitely go over weight because you have the weight of the FC and the weight of the ESC. The AIO, I think, was the, uh, like, trying to get under 250, that's the way to go. 
Unless you're doing analog, then I'm pretty sure you'll get away with it. Uh, Mike Berman says, uh, how many O3 air units do I have now? I, th I have two. I have two now. I have one in that and one in the AOS 5V2, something like that. Uh, what FC is that? Asked Paul uh, Robertson. That is the iFlight Beast F7. Uh, I have an H7 in my uh, 250, uh, but there's some issues with it. It was, a, it was the first gen H7. Um, you know, I may I've I've been considering doing custom cut Uma Grip uh, because it wouldn't. I don't think it'd be that hard for me to cut on the laser. I haven't tried it though. Uh, driver and green lights going out probably. Um, I don't think I'm using the right <laughs> the right power supply for it either. I think I'm using the one from my key light that used to be on my uh, my key light air that used to be on the desk. Uh, but I think I have the insurance on that one. I think I got it uh, refurbed from Elgato on eBay, so it has a warranty on it, which I'll probably end up using. Uh, you may have. Mike Berman says, you have any PVS-14 intensifier tubes? Uh, no, those, the intensifier tubes are, uh, well, I don't know. New goggles, Integra, motion control tube, plus Avada, worth it. I don't know how much about the Avada. Uh, it seems like the Avada is a, a very capable little drone um i think you could do more with um building uh a cine whoop but and that that potato controller i mean i don't really i don't get it i think it'd be fun and be a novelty but i think you would outgrow it real quick if you're just getting into the hobby that is a awesome package to start with really good package to start with but for somebody who's already established i would just get the goggles and you know diy the rest of it Uh, Game of said we also have custom cut Uma Grip for the popular top plates. Uh, I would definitely buy. Um, all right, well, maybe uh, maybe I'll look into trying to do that. Love toy controller. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Oh, I've had too much coffee this morning. Switch to water. I have gotten sucked into the uh, the wonderful world of custom keyboards. <laughs> uh, I built one for my wife because she's she's doing a lot of school and work from home. She had like a five dollar membrane keyboard. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna build a keyboard. Whew, man, don't do it. Ignorance is bliss. Uh, yeah, uh, custom top plate of Umagrip probably just be in the uh, the useful section so probably just like from like here back uh here back sorry things are mirrored when i'm looking at it so right from here back um i think i'd be able to do it i don't know i've never tried cutting the uma grip on the laser um i don't know if i could get uma grip but i'm sure that there's some chinese knockoff from AliExpress or Alibaba that I could definitely get it from. That's it. Alien tape is very No, I haven't tried that. What keys did I buy? I like my cherry browns. I bought... Oh, hang on a second. Um, what keys did I buy? I bought the uh, Gateron uh, Milky Pros. That's that's what I put in it. And my God, are they good? I thought I liked the tactile switch. Um, I have 
uh, browns on my keyboard right now that I'm using, and I have browns on the keyboard that I used to use. Uh, I'm not using a custom keyboard. I'm using a Logitech G915. Uh, this is a damn good keyboard. It's low profile. I like it. I like it a lot. But after doing like a, an actual custom keyboard uh, with those linears, like I have, uh, I have a Corsair with reds. I hate it. Absolutely hated that keyboard. Uh, but the one I built was with the uh, the Gateron Silky uh, the Silky Yellows, and with a set of XDA profile keycaps. Mm. Awesome. Something close to Uma Grip would be fine. Yeah, just something I think would work. Um, I've tried some of the knockoff stuff. I like the Uma Grip Light. Like I think this that's the way to go for things. Use QMK for the build, uh, yeah, uh, via, but QM, I think QMK owns it. I don't know a ton about it still, but uh, I bought a, uh, I think it was a Keychron K6, I believe was the, the frame. I know, sorry, I'm going off into a weird not drone content. Uh, Keychron K6 Pro, um, that is the board I used. All right, it is 11:44. Let's uh, let's say we uh, spin the wheel for the for one of these two drones here in about 10 minutes. If you guys haven't gotten in on the entry, I would suggest doing it now. I have 33 people entered for the giveaway. Now well, let's see. As it stands right now. 61% of you are on the $5 and up tier, or, or $5 tier, 17%, more than five bucks, 8.8, uh, .8, uh, less than five, and 11 are just gen pop. Cool. Mike Bergman, 22, all right, you got it. Uh, I got an older Dell keyboard, and uh, I'm just thinking that it's not a membrane keyboard. It's got two USB ports. Interesting. Um, might not be. Yeah, the original Uma Grip was great for running like under your GoPro. Uh, that's that's the only thing I've used it for since they came out with the light. I was using it for a uh, battery mat for the longest time, but since the light came out, it's light only. But the sheets are pretty big of Umagrip, uh, light. How much do they want for that shit? Oh, they got different colors now too. RDQ wants, what, five bucks for a sheet of Umagrip light? How big is this thing? Uh, 100 by 50. Uh, I'm pretty sure I cover most top plates. And it fit in an envelope. Oh, you guys got, you got me thinking. Uh, between that and then grips for uh, for this guy. I need to just find some time to do it. They chose the most obnoxious purple ever. Uh, yeah, fact, they did. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like a real bright, almost like fluorescent purple, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Not my, uh, not my cup of tea there. And purple, yeah, purple. Sounds about right. It's even worse in person. Well, that's good to know. I definitely won't uh, see it in person. Let's see what else we got going on. So, I'll do the giveaway for these drones uh, next weekend. Let me check my calendar. I believe I'm not going to be live streaming. I'm going to have uh, a bunch of family in town. Yeah. I should probably for the next two weeks, I will not be live streaming. Um, 
uh, next weekend. Uh, family's in town. And then the weekend after that, I actually will be out of town. Um, going to go to the uh, multi-GP in Austin, Texas with my father. Um, they're coming down for the week. And we're going to ride on out there and uh, do that for a couple days. Should be fun. I've never uh, I've never gone to a multi-GP. Um, should be pretty cool. Just found the new grip of a new color of um, a grip for me. Nice. Uh, uh Drums UK, uh, welcome man. Glad you made it. Ultra purple. Is it Patreon only? No, it is not. Play-Doh purple. Yeah, that that describes it the best. Play-Doh purple. Uh, let's see. Uh, wrong way FPV says I uh, used a clear R pad that's made to put in a car to keep your cell phone from moving. Works great. You can rinse them off. You're dirty. Uh, yeah, you can do the same thing with the Uma Grip when it gets uh, gets all covered in like um, dirt and stuff. Fun fact: don't lick it to try to make it uh, stick again. This stuff tastes awful. Uh, free range chicken, nine ninety nine. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Greatly appreciate that. Let's see, thirty four people are in. Oh, buddy. Uh, experience of that, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, it tastes like it tastes worse than you would think. Like you, you, you look at it, and you're like, ah, that's gonna taste terrible. It tastes worse than you would think. It's like a combination of uh, like licking the bottom of a shoe and grass and sand all at the same time. It is uh, it, it's just terrible. Well, you know, the light's actually a little bit better. I still don't recommend it. I'm sure there's some horrible chemicals. Oh, nope, there it is. Oh, it's the aftertaste. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Oh. <laughs> don't, uh... Yeah, don't do that. It is, <laughs> it is really bad. Um, oh, shit. I forgot. We're going to look at some of the, the foodie here. There we go. Let's go to this. Go over here. So this is um, this is on 6S. This is the, the um, 03 build. I'm purposely trying to get all the, uh, the crappy um, tuning to show. Like real fast snap flips and stops uh this is without any sort of real steady or anything like that going on or not real steady but rock steady it is um 4k 100 in the goggles it looks way 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 more impressive uh just because you get that 100 fps it's uh the 100 hertz refresh and it's 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 quite uh amazing to fly uh but you know, it flies better on 4S than it does on 6, uh, which obviously is going to be just straight up tuning. Uh, but it flies pretty darn good. Uh, it doesn't mean I fly good, but it flies pretty good. But you know, I'm just trying to bring out the worst in it. But it is a pretty darn good flying little quad. Um, But this is with Rocksteady on, and I don't know if you guys can see it being a, a streamed restream of a stream of a stream. Um, there are a lot of little uh, little back and forth bobbles to it. I am running the ESCs at uh, 24 uh, 24 kilohertz refresh or 24 kilohertz PWM frequency, so I know that can be part of it. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's definitely some uh, some chattiness. But the image quality is 
fantastic. Uh, it's pretty dark. Uh, it's pretty overcast when I did this. It was maybe three or four hours ago. But the image quality is just so damn good on DJI 3 It looks dark here. It wasn't this dark in the goggles, which uh, and there's some room to bring it up. But just the detail on the bark of the tree. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on the stream. But it is, I mean, like, just the, you can see the texture between the moss and the, the bark of this oak tree. I really like it. I'm sure it doesn't look as good to you guys as it does to me. Looking at the uh, the raw footage. But um, there's room to improve. I don't know if I want to go through the hassle of trying to soft mount the camera. I don't see myself using real steady. Not real steady, but um, rock steady or um, gyro flow with this. Um, yeah, see those those big bobbles there when we get out into the field. It, it's pretty apparent. Uh, it's not as obvious in the goggles, but rewatching the, the playback, it's well. Then again, I don't think the is it stabilized in the goggles. I don't remember. I don't think it is. So yeah, the post-processing is pretty jittery. I exported that other video to GyroFlow and it is a hot, hot mess. Uh, let's see, run 48 hertz. Yeah, I need to definitely move it to 48 kilohertz. I know that. Um, Go from flying in your backwoods with the 03 goggles and switch to Vista and you'll hate the way the uh, old system deals with Scraggle. Uh, yeah, uh, I've, I've flown the two back to back and I uh, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the old system at all. Yeah, I, if I mount it in TPU, I think I won't be able to make the, uh, the 250 mark, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but without the stabilization on, uh, I, yeah, I don't see any of these artifacts, so, no. We'll see. We'll see where I go with it. Um, this little quad is not going to be a, a cinematic-y type thing. It's just going to be, uh, go fly in a parking lot somewhere. Well, not parking lot, but like a park. All right, it is 11.55. If you haven't get, gotten in on the giveaway, I am sorry. Better luck next time. Closing it down right now. Uh, wheel of names. Let's get everybody all up on there. Don't show everybody's email address. There we go. We'll see. Control V. All right, here we go. Go. Let's take a look at this wheel here. If you don't see your name on the wheel, I don't know what to do for you. 34 entries. I had 34 on the giveaway sheet. Shuffle this guy up. Uh, let's see. Go to customize. I think somebody said 22, right? Is that what it was? 22? Back through comments here. 22, Mike Burrowin. So 22, we're picking 22. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's keep shuffling this thing a little more. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for uh, thanks for being a supporter up there at Patreon. The way the the giveaways work for the uninitiated here, five dollars and up get early access to the entry link. Everybody else gets it when I go live with the the actual giveaway video. Who gonna be? It's gonna be Alan Lowman. Are we gonna manage to make it up to five bags? I believe it's Alan Lowman. I don't know who you are. Congratulations. Maybe you're in the chat. Maybe you're not. But congratulations. Either way, 
I'm glad that uh, it's going to somebody. Now, now you just need to pick. Which one do you want? You want this guy? Or you want this guy? Eh? 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 Super fast and fun. Not fast at all, but uh, somewhat practical. Super fast. Not fast. Fun? Eh, not so much fun. More work. Eh, but... Each one has their purpose, or honestly, what I would do if I got this guy, I would gut the thing, throw the frame in the trash. No, gut the thing, sell the frame, and then uh, build something else out of it. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with this. Anything is a great little Cinewhoop. I just have no use for a two and a half inch Cinewhoop. I think if I need something this small, I'm gonna be trying to fly it on uh, like a. I. I the difference between this and like the three inch cinema whips that definitely fly better it's not a lot like if you're if you're splitting hairs where you can fly where you need this i don't know i don't know that's entirely up to you though oh that's a funny way to spell more no shot <laughs> sure is uh i'd pick the tiny trainer that's what i would go. I mean, personally i'd go with tiny trainer i love tiny trainer um Oh wait, uh, oh I didn't put in the uh, the thing for them to pick. Hmm. Last time I did a you choose, I put a uh, another box. Put another box for you guys to pick what it, which one you want. Uh, but uh, Alan Loman, he is a uh, a five dollar tier dude, so he doesn't need to be here for the live stream giveaway. But uh, yeah, so that's how it works. Five dollars and up, you get the link when I make it. Usually, I make it uh, the first week of the month. This week, this month was a little on the late side, been kind of busy. Uh, first week, uh, you get the link when it goes live over on Patreon. Everybody else, you get it when this stream goes live. So, it gives you a uh, basically an hour entry. So, that's the uh, only way to meet the 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 TOS of Patreon and also uh, give back to the people who support me the most. Uh, but the other side of it is the two dollar or the five the people under five dollars they get notification when it pops up. So there's another little uh, little uh, piece of benefit for being a Patreon member. Also, you get access to my Patreon only member section of uh, Discord. I have kind of stepped back in Discord a little bit from the Gen Pop. Doesn't mean I'm not in there helping everybody who needs help. But uh, if you're in the the Patreon section of my Discord, I definitely jump on that uh, super quick. Oh, man. Norton Top Shot. My father's got an old Norton. Uh, Waiting for him to want to get rid of it. All right, guys. Well, that's my time for the month for uh, for the week. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, Botchwood Jardwell. He'll be on in uh, another thirty-five minutes once his intro song is over with. And then after that, uh, go hang out with uh, Aaron Ciotti. If you want to get yourself some custom, uh, or if you want to get yourself some FPV radio grips, go to tweetfv.com and uh, purchase some through there. <coughs> If your favorite vendor is not carrying them, go ahead and email them and say, what the hell is wrong with you? Why don't you start stocking these things? It'd be great. Uh, there's some other merch in there as well. If you guys want to pick that up, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, again, no live streams for two weeks. I will be super busy, but I will definitely get the uh, the, the, the giveaways going. Uh, probably one of these two points. I don't know. We'll see. Lates and uh, Tweet Crips rock. Yes, they do. They do. Uh, Mike Bourbon, thank you. Uh, you're in fact the man. I don't know about that, but I appreciate it. Hopefully you all have a great day. If it's nice out, go fly. You know, you can watch Bardwell and still give him the uh, the YouTube ad revenue, which is nothing. Yeah, YouTube doesn't pay shit. Uh, just put him on your earbud. Stick the phone in your pocket or just play it uh that's a that's the thing i do with bardwell's live streams is i listen to them i hardly ever watch them maybe the new product roundup or the news i actually physically watch but like the the streams 
Um, they're very uh, podcastable. Um, there's not a lot going on. I'm sure my my streams are kind of the same way. I definitely could just listen to them in the background. But either way, uh, that all helps with the uh, the YouTube o- the overlords. Soon to come, tweet Umagrip. Oh man, we'll see about that. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, logistics with that one, but we'll see. Uh, Gamma Gonad, I am definitely going to try working on that three and a half. I'll let you know how that turns out. Everyone else, I'll see you all in a while. Have a great one. Peace. Love. Afro Grease. And uh, stay positive. We'll see you next time.